What is up, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Raging Serotonin. And guess freaking what? Our one year is on Saturday, which is also my 23rd birthday. And that makes me all hype city. So I hope you are too. I can't believe that we have made it a whole year. But again, here I am apologizing for not doing what I said I was going to do. But I am back. I am here with a new cord. We're back with the mic. And now I'm just in my element. So we can have a successful end to our year one and a beautiful start to our year two. Holy poop. Year two. What the heck? The heck and Bob? <laughs> Where did the time go? I don't know. I really don't know, guys. It's been a heck of a journey. And... I'm just so glad I've had you all on this ride with me and I've never worked harder at something in my life. I've never wanted to grow so much and be the best person ever. I know it isn't possible to be perfect, but this podcast is perfect to me and I'm just beyond blessed to have this platform to use my voice and my story to be able to normalize mental health and for people to understand that it's okay to not be okay and to get help and if you need help to reach out to the ones that you feel most comfortable talking to. Today, I did an interview for my friend's internship and she asked me some deep questions about mental health and body dysmorphia and how it just has such a stigma. And I think over the past year, I personally feel that we, like as Raising Serotonin, have made such a difference in the mental health community. We have been normalizing anxiety and battling demons for an entire year. And I know it has made an impact. Whether you're a ghost follower or a listener, and meaning I don't know who you are and you just like sit back and just listen to my episodes, I love you. You make a difference. Whether I do know you and we talk on and off or we talk occasionally or we talk all the time, I love you and you know that you're making a difference. I probably tell you every time we talk. So every single person who comes back or listens to this even one episode, you make a difference by putting the effort to hear something about mental health and how it, you can be more positive and how you can be the change. And that's all that it takes. It just takes one listen to have something click. You never know. It could be way down the road. But really, all I care about is just reaching that one person. And if I have helped you, I love you. And I hope that you've told me that I've helped you. I'm sure that you have. But come reach out to me and tell me how this podcast has benefited you or has helped you or whatever it has done for you. I would love to know because I love just talking about it. So I do what I do because I want to make a change. I literally do what I do because I want to provide more information from a, from a perspective that other people don't have, my own, my own story. I want my story to show that it is okay to fuck up sometimes. It is okay to have different opinions and change and grow. This world is such a sick place. It literally makes me not want to bring kids into this world. And I have highly thought about making that decision of not having kids because I don't even want anything to do with raising Why? a child in this like just really beyond intro, world just fucked like up world there, so, so i'm trying to make the change right to, the to have everyone like, else that wants to have kids i want to be that for change one. for them and that it's generation so they weeks. we've been waiting to normalize episode, mental okay. health regardless of all that right now we're here to raise our serotonin and i'm just so freaking excited for you too i tell you guys let's get it just the importance of it okay sorry sleep and I have to write it down because I will forget if I don't and I will wake up and be pissed off so I write it down and I just think about things all night long and then regardless hello I am here I'm telling you how to personally change yourself for the better for the life that you want the life that you deserve you know you deserve a good life you know you deserve to be happy okay so there are some steps let's get into them <clears throat> But actually, we're going to start with this. Let me say, the only person who can change you is you. I can create the environment and the atmosphere with my Instagram and my podcast. I can give you all the tips and tricks that have helped me become the best version of myself. But I can't physically pick you up and change you. So I need you to want to change. But not just want I need you to physically, emotionally, and mentally take each and every step if you want to change. You want to level the heck up? 
be the best version of you, then come with me. Let's go. Let's do this together. I can help you. I'm here. DM me if you have my phone number. Call me. I'm here 24-7 unless I'm sleeping because then that's not 24-7, but it's fine. I literally talked to four people from my college the other day that I haven't talked to in, in a few. And hey, you all know who you are. And I'm just like happy that I got to talk to them about like mental health things and just positivity and just growth and all that type of stuff. But like literally I'm here for anyone. Like talk to me. I've been on the journey. I get it. Shit gets fucking tough out there. Okay. I didn't mean to drop the F-bomb. I'm sorry. But for real. Shit, shit gets so hard. And I made this podcast so you know that you're not alone. And you ain't alone because your girl is here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here are the steps you should be taking in order to make a personal change in your life. Step number one. Ready? I think you guys should literally be writing this down because when I was learning this, I have so many freaking notebooks. I just have random scribbles of my thoughts and like notes and shit everywhere. So yeah, if you seriously want to make a change, these are actually the steps since like proven you can like look it up. I don't know. I would definitely take this into consideration if you seriously need to level up. Here we go again. Step number one, when you change your, your thinking, you change your beliefs. This process all starts with your mind and your mindset we have to get a healthy mind if you are constantly telling yourself you suck you're the worst you can't do this this or that blah 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 you're right you do suck you won't do it not that you can't you just won't because you're lazy and you want to be stuck in whatever this miserable mindset is for whatever reason but i'm going to tell you something about beliefs beliefs are a byproduct of what you thought long enough about that you finally bought into So congrats, guys. If you told yourself you suck that many times that you believed it, then that's on you. You want to be a king one day? Okay. Then you need to stop telling yourself that no one likes you. Because how are you going to be a king if no one likes you? That's literally you telling your brain what you wanted to tell it, and that's just it's giving you what you want. It's telling you told yourself that no one likes you, so no one's going to like you. But you 100% can change your beliefs. But you have to start off with telling yourself that you have to believe in yourself and believe in what you want to be. And then we follow this next step. Step number two. Beliefs then form into your expectations. Let me say that again. Beliefs then form into your expectations. So I previously mentioned that you can change your beliefs to positive thoughts And that's what your brain is going to remember. So with this part of the domino effect, your beliefs are good and strong and you are becoming a level-minded person from being so low before. This is a huge step. Don't think this is like a one, two, three thing because it's not. It happens over time. This takes time in between each steps. Each steps are their own length. You know, this is a process. Trust your process. But at this point, we have already completed step one and our beliefs are strong and powerful so now you are visioning yourself as the type of person that you want to be you're believing in yourself more than ever you're believing that you are that person that you are going to be you should now expect the outcomes to happen like for example back to being negative about yourself and that's just the best example if you're expecting yourself to suck and fail and be horrible at something you will fail you will suck at it so The domino effect and manifestation, I do believe, go somewhat hand in hand because once you are manifesting all the good things you are about to tell yourself and the future and the future version of you, that's what the outcome will most likely be. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Um, I can't believe I just used that phrase, but you know, that's fine. And this part is my favorite. Once you change your expectations, you change your attitude. That's number three. Change your expectations and you can change your attitude. Okay, I was, everyone knows, I was the worst. I had the worst attitude, the worst mindset. Jesus, Lord, I was mean. So that literally was what my brain just spat out to the world. I had resting bitch face all the time. And we all know that I just didn't give a shit about anything. And like I have said, I was living for nothing. So once I finally changed my attitude, 
I was finally excited about something in my life. Like, your attitude begins to change about life overall. Like, once you are excited about one thing, like, you can make yourself excited about everything else. And once you have those positive expectations for yourself, like, you're excited, you have high energy about this huge change in your life you're about to make, like, you normally don't have high energy, the attitude follows with that excitement and high energy. Again, it's the domino effect. You're just knocking over one domino at a time. You just push the first one and everything happens after. Guys, I just need you to remember that you're never going to be alone in this type of journey as long as raising serotonin's here. I'm not going anywhere, but also remember that I can't physically change for you. Like I can't make you change. But I am a huge tool guide to help you make the change that you're looking for. I've gone through a lot of shit and I'm always here. So utilize my brain, please. Even though everyone's change and journey will look different, the steps that I mentioned during this podcast are going to be the same for everyone. It's all about you and your mindset and your beliefs and how you want this to go. We can make it a positive experience for you as long as you let that happen. It's all on you. I'm doing well I can be the positive one for you and help you but you need to do it with me too if you think you want to make a change be the change start with your beliefs and then the world is yours I'm serious I've never felt better in my life than believing in myself so much you know what guys I hope you really liked this episode because it's so good to finally be back with my mic and to just talk to you guys about being the change i am obsessed with it and if you did like this episode go give it five stars on apple Podcasts. leave me a review for our one freaking year let's go send this to a friend that's my thing if if you need to talk if your friend needs to talk to someone send it to them because then maybe they'll come talk to me and and i will see you in year freaking two my beautiful people bye guys